Welcome along to the seventh video in our series where we are looking at transitioning out of block-based coding in Scratch over to text-based coding in Python. What we'll be doing today is taking some of those skills we've learnt in previous videos about basic shapes and loops to create ourselves a really cool pattern. Okay, we're going to be using octagons today to create this pattern. So let's get started in Scratch and the first thing I'm going to do today is actually change the backdrop colour. We haven't done that yet with this um, video series, so let's head over to the right hand side here in the stage properties. Click on backdrops and choose the backdrops tab at the top of the page. Uh, grab your rectangle tool down the bottom here, make your fill color black. Turn your outline off by choosing that box with the red line going through it. And just draw yourself a rectangle that's a little bit bigger than your stage. And you should have a black backdrop like so. You can then go back and click on Sprite 1 and back on the Code tab at the top, and we're ready for coding. I might just change the size of this cat now before we get into it to 30%, so he's nice and small, it doesn't get in the way of our drawing. And what we're going to be doing to begin with is making sure we've got this pen extension tab brought into Scratch. If you haven't got that yet, make sure you hit the blue button at the bottom and select the pen extension. First thing we'll be doing is going to events, like always, bringing out when the green flag is clicked. So when our program is run, the first thing I want to do is erase all. So if there's any dr existing drawings on our stage over there, it's just going to erase them so we're left with an empty blank canvas for drawing on. Next thing I want to do is make sure in motion that I'm pointing in direction 90 degrees, which is facing to the right. And next thing we'll do is go to pen and set our pen color to a nice bright color that's going to stand out on black. I'm going to choose this lime green. I'm then going to go to the bottom and choose that last um, block that says set pen size and change it to 5. Then I'm going to lift the pen up off my page and from my motion tab I'm going to go to my X and Y coordinates. The X and Y coordinates I want to go to are just 0, 0. We're just going to leave them as is. Okay, but if we were to test our program and see our cat ended up over here somewhere, at least this time when we start our program, he'll come straight back to the center of the page, which is X0 and Y0. Um, we'll then go back to the pen tab and put our pen down on the page, ready for drawing. So we're now ready to start coding up our octagon. Okay, to code up an octagon, we're going to use a loop, so let's go over to our control and bring out the repeat um, loop. Remember, octagons have eight sides, so we're going to repeat the following code eight times. We're simply going to move 50 steps, and once we move 50 steps, we're going to turn right at 45 degrees. Now, I got that 45 degrees by simply dividing 360 by 8. So 360 divided by the number of sides in this shape gave us 45 degree turns. If we were to run that now, we should, we do, get an octagon drawn on the screen. That's the start of our pattern. What I want to do now is basically repeat that code in a circular shape. Okay, and you'll see what it looks like in just a moment. All we need to add in is under our control section, we're going to bring out this repeat. Um, loop again, and we're going to repeat eight times, and we're going to wrap that around the existing repeat loop, like so. So we've got two repeats there now, and each time we draw one of these octagons, I want to turn to the right, oh, sorry, to the left, 45 degrees. So we're going to turn anti-clockwise, 45 degrees. Okay. So just double check you've got the same code as me there. It can be a little bit um, confusing there, but just make sure you've got all the orange and blue blocks in the right spot. When you do, give it a run, and you'll see eight different octagons get drawn on your page, and you can see this cool pattern appear when it's done. Okay, so pretty simple to make a cool pattern like that, just by using loops and basic shapes. Let's head over to Mu now and have a look at coding it up quite easily um, with text-based code. So first of all, let's add in our line that says from turtle import star. So import all the functions from the turtle library to allow us to draw on the screen. Remember to change the background color of your page 
we use the word BG color and in brackets and quotation marks we're going to pick, pick black. Next up we're going to choose the color of our octagon. So we can choose green yellow which is like that limey green color I just I just used in scratch. So color is green yellow and the pen size the thickness of the line is going to be set to 5. Okay now to draw a single octagon we just write for i in range 8 colon and the next few lines we'll just go forward I'm going to go forward 100 not 50 like I had in scratch I've got a bit more room in python so I might make it a bit bigger so I'm going to go forward 100 and turn right 45 degrees now remember this code will just draw one octagon okay so let's save it first of all I'm going to call it 7 I'll call it cool pattern cool octagon pattern Okay, so you can see the octagon get drawn. That's all working well. So that's the first part. Now remember, back in Scratch, we wrapped that up with another loop that repeated eight times as well. So I'm going to have to go back up above the loop we've already written and write for i in range eight again. Put a colon. And we turn left 45 degrees. Now this is where it gets a bit confusing. What we're going to have to do is highlight these last three lines of code and on your keyboard press tab. That's going to indent those three lines of code just to show that they're now inside of this other loop. So we're going to be repeating eight octagons now. Each time we draw one octagon we turn left 45 degrees and then draw the next one. And that's it. Let's have a look. It's going to be a little bit slow here. As you can see, that's our third, here's our fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and here comes the last one, which is the eighth. You can see now we've got that really cool pattern drawn. All right, just to speed things up, at the top of the page, I'd probably put in um, speed to zero. And don't forget, at the very bottom, you want to hide the turtle as well. We don't need to see him. Uh, that's about it. So let's run that one more time quickly and you can see it get drawn a lot faster. So that's a pattern with octagons. I'm just wondering if we change this up a little bit with hexagons if it's going to work. So I'm going to change how many times it's repeated from 8 to 6. And the angle that we turn at should be 60. That's 360 divided by 6. Let's give that a run see what happens. There you go. You get a similar looking pattern, I suppose, just built with hexagons this time. So by playing around with how many times you repeat stuff, okay, let's just go back to the eights here, and how many degrees you turn out, just a little bit of simple maths there, you can get some really cool looking patterns uh, using this Python code. All right, so good luck making your own, and I'll catch you in the next video.